Hi everyone, I'm Daniela, and today we're making Tiffin, or No Bake Chocolate Slice. This is a Scottish recipe that is really popular in the UK, but it's starting to make its way to other places around the world, so I thought I'd show you today just how to make it. We'll start by buttering and lining our pan. So this actually doesn't need a lot of butter, this is just sort of to hold the paper in place, but just enough. Because this is a no-bake recipe, it's much easier if you line and butter the pan to be able to pull it out. We're just going to set this aside while we get everything else ready. Next, we're gonna bash up two cups, 225 grams of biscuits. Traditionally made with digestive biscuits, you can use any hard cookie as long as it sort of snaps. And we don't want these too small, so just a few bashes will do. And try and squeeze the air out before you smash your cookies so that it doesn't explode in your kitchen. So this is the size you're looking for. If you go too small with it, you'll lose the texture in the tiffin. We're going to set this aside while we mix up the chocolate bit. Into our pot goes 100 grams, two thirds a cup of butter, 100 grams, four tablespoons of golden syrup. And if you can't get golden syrup, you can use corn syrup or you can make your own golden syrup and I've linked that video down in the description below. In goes 25 grams, an eighth a cup of light brown sugar and 22 grams, three tablespoons of cocoa powder. And we're going to get this all melting together on medium high heat. Once everything's melted and it's come together, it's time to add in our biscuits. You can add 150 grams or three quarter cups of raisin at this stage. But if you've followed me for a while, you know I'm not a raisin lover, so I've left them out. You can also make them really festive and use dried cranberries instead. Just really stir it until it's all come together and then we're going to pour it into our pan that we lined earlier. Pour the mixture into your 20 centimeter pan and then just spread it down until it coats the entire bottom. If you like a particularly thick tiffin, you could even double this recipe and use it in the same size pan and you just have double the height on the tiffin. But we're going to add a chocolate topping as is traditional. Next, you'll need 225 grams, that's one and one third cups of milk chocolate that you've chopped. And we're just going to melt this so you can use chocolate chips if you really want to or chocolate chunks, you don't have to chop it yourself. Give it just a rough chop, we're gonna be melting it anyway and just pop it into the bowl that's going to go on our double boiler. I've added an inch of water to my pot and it's just simmering and we're going to put our chocolate on top of that pot, making sure the water isn't touching the bottom. You could also do this in the microwave. If you're doing it in the microwave, make sure to stir every 15 to 20 seconds to make sure your chocolate doesn't seize. All of our chunks are completely melted. Then just pour your chocolate over top of your biscuity mix. And didn't it look like loads of chocolate when we were chopping it up? And when you melt it down, you're like, ooh, is that gonna be enough chocolate? I promise it's enough and then just spread it around, making sure everything's covered. Give your pan a little tap on your counter. This just makes sure the chocolate is nice and even on the top, and that's going into the fridge for at least an hour. I've left the top of my tiffin plain, as is traditional, but feel free to make it your own. Swirl in some white chocolate, add some sprinkles, whatever you wanna do to make your tiffin special. You can cut these into small squares, but I'm going to cut them into big chunky triangles because there's just something about biting into the edge of a triangle that makes it taste better. If you're looking for more great Christmas baking ideas, check out my Christmas cookie playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.